In this lecture, we are going to deploy and migrate our custom smart contract that we wrote in Solidity in a Truffle project. Our first step will be to deploy the contract. So we will need to build a script to deploy our smart contract. Scripts go into the migrations folder in your Truffle project. We already have one file called initial migration. This file right here, this deploys the migrations contract. And we need to build a very similar file to deploy our custom smart contract. So we can just copy all this code and then inside of the migrations folder, create a new file called two underscore deploy contracts dot JS. Note that this is a JavaScript file. In here, we're going to just paste the code from initial migration, but replace migrations with tally everywhere that it appears. So what this means is we are requiring from our artifacts the tally JSON file. The artifacts is just the JSON data of your smart contract. Then we are exporting our deployer which uses the deploy function on the tally smart contract. So here we are deploying our custom smart contract, which we called tally. Then save that JavaScript file. And now we can deploy this contract. So how do we actually execute this file? Well, we're going to go into the terminal or command line application. Here, go to your project folder and call the command truffle migrate. This is going to migrate your files. So let's take a look at what happened because we get a lot of notices here appearing in the terminal. First, we see compiling your contracts. Everything is up to date. There is nothing to compile. So when you call truffle migrate, this actually first compiles your contracts, which means you don't actually have to call truffle compile manually. You can just do it all in one right here in Truffle Migrate. Everything is up to date. There is nothing to compile because we already compiled our smart contracts before with Truffle Compile. Then we have this message starting migrations. The network name is Ganache. The network ID is 5777 and the block gas limit is this value. So by default the network that will be used is Ganache. Then we have our first script being run called initial migration. This deploys the smart contract called migrations. And for each of the deployments, we get a bunch of information. We get the transaction hash, the blocks, the seconds, the contract address, the block number, the block timestamp, the account, the balance of the account, the gas used, the gas price, the value sent, and the total cost. You may be wondering, where does this account come from? Well, if you open up your Ganache, you can actually see that account is the first account in your Ganache running. So you can either use the Ganache desktop application or the Ganache command line application, where you can get these accounts that each have an address and they have test ether. So this is not real ether. This is just test ether for you to use when you're testing out your projects, which we are now. So make sure when you are migrating your contracts that you do have Ganache open. Otherwise, we won't be able to get this deployment. So we get our account, the account balance, the gas used, the gas price of the transaction, the value sent, and the total cost. Then we save the migration to the blockchain and we save the artifacts and we have the total cost. Next, we run our second script, which is deploycontracts.js. We are deploying tally, and we get all the same information, but this time about our second smart contract. And finally, we get a summary of the total deployments, which was two and the final cost. Now, what if I close Ganache? I quit that desktop application. This tells me I no longer have my local network running. I no longer have the local blockchain running. If I call truffle migrate this time, 
Let's see what happens. So this time you'll get a message that says something went wrong when, when attempting to connect to your network at localhost port 7545. We could not connect to your Ethereum client with the following parameters. Check that your Ethereum client is running, is accepting RPC connections, is accessible over the network, and is properly configured in your Truffle configuration file. Okay, let's go through all of these. When you migrate your contracts, Truffle is going to connect to a network. It's going to connect by default to the local host at port 7545, which is the port of Ganache. So if you don't have Ganache open, you'll get this message that says we could not connect to the network because it's not open, it's not running. That's why you have to have it open or you get this message. You don't have to connect to Ganache, you can connect to a different network, but you have to connect to some kind of network. So in this case, the default parameters that Truffle uses are these parameters, localhost at this port with this network ID. This is for Ganache and that's the default. Currently, our Ganache is not running, so that's why we get this message that we need to check that the Ethereum client Ganache is running. You can also use a different network, but you have to make sure that you configure that network in your Truffle configuration file, truffleconfig.js. So yes, you can use a different network. You could use Mainnet, you could use Robsten, RinkB, but you have to configure that network if you want to use it. If you want to just use the default, which is Ganache, then just open Ganache. You can either launch the desktop application of Ganache or the command line application of Ganache, but you have to have it running. You have to have the command line Ganache instance running or the desktop Ganache instance running. You have to click here, Quick Start Ethereum, because that means you now have a local Ganache, a local blockchain running on your computer. You'll notice that every time you close and open Ganache, there is going to be a new set of addresses with new balances, a new mnemonic, new everything. So just take note of that. It's a temporary blockchain that refreshes every time you close it. But now I can call Truffle Migrate, and we're going to do the same thing again, compile my contracts, and look, this time it actually works, because this time I have Ganache running. My blockchain is live. And remember, it's a local blockchain, which means it's just running on my computer. No one else can see it. Here, you'll notice we also have a new account address being used because we closed and reopened Ganache, so we got a whole bunch of new addresses. Awesome. Okay, so that is how you can migrate a contract. If you make a change to your contract and then you want to re-migrate it, then you may have to do truffle migrate dash dash reset or even reset all because otherwise the changes might not get updated. So just take note if you make a change and then want to migrate again, but you're not seeing anything being properly updated, then just add the reset flag. Okay, so then you can run that again and this will just reset all the migrations. All right, so we have been able to write a deployment script and then migrate our contracts, which means we have put our contracts onto our local blockchain. Do you want the source code? Well, go to the description box. It is right there. Also click the link in the description box to join the Mammoth Unlimited membership to get 2000 hours of content and like, subscribe and comment below.